Hi guys, Paul and Pam Bruni, the shaky camera entry. Just in case I forget to edit that out. Anyway, doing some reviews. I think I'm getting the palette back, slowly but surely, after the attacks. I'm gonna try one of the mystery beer reviews. I'm kinda like so freaked out about screwing these up now because of the thing like that. So, feeling pretty good. Gonna do one. We'll see how it works out. Yes, I am dressed like this. Okay, here we go. Piss, there's carbonation. I have no idea what this is. This is the one of the rare 12 ounce cans, and I just think I just was like, oh my god, what what is happening to my glass right now? What is happening to my glass right now? Oh no. Look at that. Oh boy. I don't know what just happened to my glass. What did you give me? Jesus. It reminds me of the prickly pear pale ale I've had a long time ago. And yes, for some reason it's super shaky today. I have no idea why. Very, very tart. Very tart cranberry. White, like, kind of like a white grapefruit cranberryness kind of peeking out of this thing. I would be so bold as to say almost strawberryness in there too. Some of the fruit characters. Well, let's give it a taste. I don't know what it is. Whoa. There's a <clears throat> shot right up my nose and it wasn't the greatest thing in the world. Very, I mean, this is very, 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 very. It's very tart. Very tart, very drying. Hint of a, a, a saltiness in there too. I don't know what the hell this is. I'll just, no idea. <laughs> but there's a little bit of a fleshiness, a fleshy orange in there too, mixed with that kind of, there's almost a hint of a cranberry and a hint of a strawberry. But there is a hint of a orange in there too. I'm um, getting a little bit of salty dryness in there too. It reminds me, now I haven't had, I don't I think I might have had one, if any. Uh, or there's lambics and stuff like that. This is reminding me a little bit of that kind of gyoza style because of the fact that I am getting kind of the saltiness in there. But there's so much tartness too that I don't know what the fuck I'm getting. Yeah, this salty, dry, tart, a little bit in there. Um, this is again at room temperature, so you don't know what the hell I'm, it could be. It could be Yenling's premium ale. Who knows? I have no idea. After that, after I got that fucking smack in the face, who knows? When these things are warm, you don't know what you're gonna get. But right now, yeah, I'm totally getting. I'm totally getting the just the, those ripe fruits, tart, and getting a little hint of a saltiness that is playing around. So I'll have to guess Goza if we're doing styles. I don't generally try to pick exactly the style, but I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna definitely do go for a Goza. <clears throat> I've never had it, but I know it was it Anderson Valley makes a blood orange goza. If it was Anderson Valley blood orange goza, I'd be like, what? Probably not. <laughs> so, Ooh. it's not my style. It's okay, but uh, it, it's just not my style. Anyway, let's check it out. It tastes like it's about f like four or five percent though. I mean, it's super drinkable. It's just it's not my deal. Okay, it's a it's a it's a it's a blackberry short weiss. Okay, that's cool. And this is a um, smutty nose. Wow, I didn't even know they made this. Pretty crazy. I have no idea. Blackberry, like strawberry, cranberry. I wasn't pulling blackberry out of it, but hey, whatever. That's awesome. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, I'm getting a saltiness out of this, though. A little hint of that with that tartness. So that's pretty interesting. A blackberry short weiss. Bright, tart, refreshing. Well, oh, absolutely. Um, enjoy, well chilled. It's not 
by the way. And make mine a smutty, the standard cliche from them. It's not really giving me any other information. ABV on bottom. Canned on 215, 2017, 4.8% alcohol by volume. So there you go. There it is. And, um, yeah. Yeah. When you drink it, I mean, you definitely get the, I mean, I guess that's blackberry you're smelling. It was a little hard for me to decipher that. It was coming off more like a mixture between cranberry and strawberry, but apparently it's blackberry. A shaky camera action, what is up with that? Yeah, but tart, definitely tart. It's easy to drink overall, but it's not my style. It's just not doing it for me. But they could put brewing salts in it because it's a Weiss beer, but I'm getting a little bit of a saltiness, so I don't really know. I, like I said, I don't drink much tart beers and goes and stuff like that, but from what I'm getting, there's like a weird funky tart dryness in there that's reminding me of a little bit of a saltiness too. But overall, it is crisp. It is, I don't really consider it refreshing because it kind of leaves your palate a little bit muddled and stuff, but it's, it's okay. It's easy to drink. It's definitely not as... Absolutely not as refreshing as some Berliner Weisses that I've had. Um, but it is what it is. Because there's a sticking around, sticking kind of lingering thing that I don't really don't classify as refreshing. But again, drink well chilled. This isn't. So there you go. I mean, if I had to throw this in a rating, I'd give it like a 7. Not too crazy about it, but it is what it is. I've been Paul from BI Brutus for my little mystery view. I'll see you later, guys. Cheers.